Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this coordinate systems and vector components problem, they tell us that a position vector with magnitude of 10 meters points to the right and up. So I drew a coordinate grid here for us. So we're going to start right at the origin, and they say it goes up and to the right 10 meters. We have 10 meters for the vector. And they say that the x component of it is 6 meters. So if we draw the x component right here, they say that is six meters. Obviously we just drew a right triangle right here. And so we need to figure out what this value is for the y component. So that's what we need. This height is the same as this height. So it doesn't matter which side you do. I'm gonna do it over here just so you can see the, the right triangle like that. So since we have a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean's theorem, of course, to solve for this. So Pythagorean's theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now a and b are, of course, the shorter two legs. So we're going to say that a is our y component right here. doesn't really matter. It'll be the exact same. So we want to isolate a. So we'll subtract b squared from both sides of the equation. Now that'll give us a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. We want to isolate a by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. So now a is equal to the square root of c squared minus b squared. We have the value for c, which is 10. So a is equal to the square root of 10 squared minus b, which we said is 6. So 6 squared, and we'll take the square root of all that. So we have the square root of 10 squared minus the square root of 6 squared, and that is 8. So a, or the y component of this vector, is 8 meters. For this problem, there's two ways of doing it. So this way is the first way using Pythagorean's theorem. I'm going to quickly show you a second way that you can do it. So the second way is using trigonometry. And we're going to say that this angle right here is theta. So using trigonometry, we know that SOHCAHTOA can help us solve right triangles. In this case, we know what the adjacent is. So adjacent over hypotenuse. We know the hypotenuse, of course. There's no hypotenuse in TOA, so we can't use that. And we don't know what the opposite is, so we can't use that. So obviously, cosine has to be it. So CA stands for cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. We're trying to solve for theta. We want to solve for theta by taking the inverse cosine of both sides, which will give us theta is equal to the inverse cosine of adjacent over hypotenuse. We have both of these values, so theta will be equal to inverse cosine of 6 meters over 10 meters. So inverse cosine of 6 over 10 gives us 53.1 degrees. So 53.1 degrees for the angle. And now that we know the angle, now we can use one of these other two trigonometry functions to find the opposite. I'm going to use sine. So sine stands for sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We want to isolate opposite, so we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the hypotenuse. So now we have opposite is equal to h sine theta. Hypotenuse is 10, so we'll take 10 of the sine of 53.1, which will give us this opposite value here. So I'm doing it both ways to show you that it doesn't matter which way you go, you will get the exact same answer. Of course, we rounded our answer for the degrees right here, but if you would take 10 sine of this answer, you'll see that we get 8, the exact same. So however you come to it, the answer is 8 for the y component of this vector.